So for today, there are a few things I want to sit down and update you guys on. And this is the Nui 360 Cam 2 in the black color. They did a pretty good job trick-or-treating. They got a pretty big haul compared to last year. I thought we started high treating again. And I'm actually doing it way different than how I was trying to do it the first time around. Hey guys, and good morning. Welcome to today's vlog. First of all, if my eyes are a little red, I just poke myself in the eye. So please excuse that, but welcome to today's vlog. So for today, there are a few things I want to sit down and update you guys on. One being my thyroid biopsy results. I did get those in a few days ago and I never shared with you guys what was said. So I wanna share that with you guys. And I actually have a potty training update that I want to give you guys in today's video as well. But I'm going to jump into those updates a little bit later on in today's vlog. This morning, the boys are still at school. I actually have to go pick them up very shortly but before i do that i wanted to share with you guys something that i recently got in now if you're familiar with my whole like den redo update saga i'm currently down here in the den you would know that i completely redid the space and made this space a really nice playroom for the boys and i think i mentioned in one of the like redo vlogs how i really wanted to get a camera for down here so that I would be able to watch the boys while they're playing and kind of see what they're doing without interrupting them. A lot of the times the boys are playing really nicely and independently down here. And if I poke my head down the stairs, they like want me to come down here and play with them or they wind up coming back upstairs with me. Um, if I like interrupt their independent play, it's kind of over. So I really wanted to get a camera in so that I could watch what they were doing down here while I was like upstairs cooking or cleaning or even using the bathroom. Sometimes I run upstairs and it's a little too quiet down here. And so I always like to know what they're doing and getting into. And like I said, sometimes interrupting them just like ruins all of their independent playing, everything like that. So I really wanted to get a camera for down here. And the company Nui reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to try their indoor camera. This is their Nui Cam 360. I believe it's like the second edition. Um, they reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to try out their cameras and give you guys my honest opinion. And so I, of course, jumped on that opportunity to get these in, give these a go, and then, of course, share my opinion with you guys about these newy cameras. So I actually did go ahead and set up the camera earlier today. I wanted to be able to set it up before I sat down and shared my thoughts on it so I could give you guys my full thoughts on the whole setup process. And surprisingly, the setup process was so extremely easy. I do have two here, as you can see, one of them is open. This is the one that I'm going ahead and using down here. It's in the black color. And they did send me a white one. The white one I'm actually going to save and bring down to Florida with me next time I go so I could set that up there and kind of just have this one down there for when I'm staying at my mom's so I can, of course, watch them in their room when I am at my mom's house. My mom doesn't have a baby monitor and I usually take one from Harris's parents' house, but now I have an extra one that I'll be able to bring down and use when I'm down there. But the black one is the one that I did go ahead and set up and it was so extremely easy. I'll show you guys in a second how I kind of have it set up right now and share with you guys a little bit more information about the new E360. But as far as unpackaging it and opening it and setting it up this morning it was so extremely easy all you have to do is search for the newy app in the app store i do have an apple phone and so i used the apple app store but i believe it's compatible yeah it says with androids version 4.4 and up and then ios which is um apple versions 8 and up so apple and android i just searched up the newy app in my app store downloaded it to my phone opened up the box and took everything out and then once you actually open the app it walks you through how you're going to set up and pair the camera so let me turn this camera around so i can show you guys what we're working with i do film with my phone so i'm not going to be able to show you physically on my phone what i see but i did take a bunch of screen recordings earlier today so i will be inserting those throughout while i'm talking about the camera so you guys can kind of see what the app looks like what the layout is different features that the app and the camera have and all that kind of stuff so let me turn the camera around Okay, like I mentioned, this is the Nui 360 Cam 2 in the black color. I believe it's marketed as just like an indoor home camera. It's not specifically a baby monitor. I know over on their website, they also feature 
um, people using it as like a dog cam so people can watch their pets while they're home you can just have it set up in your house if you don't have children if you just like having a camera to be able to see what's going on indoors but for us and for our use of purpose we're using it down here in the den so that we can watch the boys while they play down here and I don't have to worry about interrupting their play like I mentioned so on the box here it does give you guys a bunch of the features that are included in this camera so 2k full resolution pan tilt control motion detection two-way audio there is a Nui cloud you can have access to to save some of the data from the camera that's collected um, personally I don't really care to have that downloaded just because I'm not really using it to record what's going on it's not like I'm leaving the house and recording what's going on in my home while I'm away so that's okay I'm not going to use that um, there is night vision. I'll have to check tonight and see how the night vision looks and then I'll insert some footage of that for you guys so you guys can be able to see that. But there is great night vision, um, sonic sensor alerts, one year limited warranty, and then like I mentioned, that smart device compatibility with Apple and Android as you guys can see there. So like I said, the setup process was super easy. I opened it up. In the box, it does come with a wall mount. I know this isn't like the safest setup and this isn't going to be our permanent setup. I'm going to actually like tape the cord to the wall so that the boys cannot get caught in it but it does come with a wall mount i haven't decided if i'm going to put that up on the walls yet or not or if i'm just going to leave it in this space but as you guys can see in the footage that i'm including having the camera in this corner right here i get a perfect view of what's going on um in the rest of the den i don't capture this corner but the boys don't really play over there i'm mainly focused on like what's going on over here so having it placed in this corner is the perfect spot i just have to figure out long term like how i'm actually going to install it i just went ahead and set it up quickly this morning so that i could you know give it a go and see how it is but like i said setup super easy quality is amazing there's a lot of color it's very bright there is that two-way audio which i love um so i can like say, hey, stop it if I'm like up in the bathroom and they're doing something that they're not supposed to do. Um, the night vision, the motion detection and the sound detection, you can turn on and get notifications sent to your phone. But I did not go ahead and do that just because when the boys are playing down here, they're obviously going to be making a lot of noise and moving around. So I didn't want to get constant notifications to my phone. But like I said, if you are plugging this in and just having it in your home, and if you're away for an extended period of time, you can set up those notifications so that you can, of course, be notified if there's any movement or sound in your home. So for me, I'm really impressed with my new a camera. Like I said, the setup process was so easy. You're actually able to connect multiple cameras and view them on the app at the same time. I just have the one set up. So if you wanted to set up more than one camera, you would be able to view them on that like home screen that I showed you guys. Um, I think that's amazing. The sleekness of the new e camera, I love the way it looks, especially the black, but they do have white, like I said, if this is more your style. For me, I just love the look and the sleekness of the black camera. All of that combined with the features I mentioned, that really high definition resolution, the night vision, the two-way speaking, everything that I mentioned, I really find that Nui is a great fit for what I'm looking for in my space down here. And like I said, if you have pets, this will work for you. If you have kids, if you just need a great indoor camera to be able to record and view your space, I highly recommend the Nui camera. The price is also amazing. I believe it's like $69.99 standalone, but I do have a coupon code for you guys to get some money off your Nui camera. And I believe in November, they're going to be doing Black Friday sales as well. So stay tuned for that. I'll update you guys over on my Instagram once those sales do go live but in the description box below i will have my special coupon code for you guys to get money off your new camera you can buy them over on amazon or on newy's website i'll leave both of those linked down below for you guys to shop through so thank you to newy for sending these over and letting me give them a go i have to go run out and grab the boys right now and then when we get back i will sit and do those other updates for you guys and um, I do want to try the camera out with the boys playing down here. So I'll give you guys some more updates on that later in the video. But thank you to Nui. I'll be right back. Let me go grab the boys and then we'll jump into the updates. Yay! What? Do you want more candy? Uh -huh. You can pick one more piece from the bucket. Come on. No, you got a lot. You got a lot trick or treating. Yeah, you got a lot trick or treating. 
okay we are home from school and i wanted to show you guys if you guys saw my vlog i think it was like two weekends ago now at this point i shared some new vans that the boys got in and i mentioned how harris's mom yes we can get a snack in one second how harris's mom only got one pair of these because one of them was canceled due to inventory she actually went ahead and picked up a second pair for us what what you want to pick a snack more candy what do you need? Candy. Candies from the bucket? Okay, Jack wanted to pick another candy from the bowl. This is just what mm. I'm letting the boys have of what they picked. I picked out things that were like choking hazards mm. or things I knew that they didn't like and put what they could have in this bowl. You just had a lolly, baby. Why don't you pick something different? There you go. Okay. Oh, you want mommy to take your lolly? You don't want to finish it? Um, that is just what I'm letting the boys have of what they got. Gummies, that's a good pick. I'm gone. Like I was saying, that is just what I'm letting the boys keep of theirs. This is Harris and I's stash. This is leftover from what I bought. And then all of this is stuff that I picked out of theirs that are like choking hazards for them. And then, like I said, they have a bunch left from us. We did a pretty good, they did a pretty good job trick-or-treating. They got a pretty big haul compared to last year. I feel like last year they didn't really want to walk up to the houses. But this year for Halloween, they had so much fun walking up to the houses and actually trick-or-treating. So we wound up getting a lot of candy. But like I was saying about the shoes, um, Harris's mom did pick up a second pair of these. The boys wanted to wear them to school tonight. And I love these first, that there's a zipper on the back. So it's easy to slip onto their foot. I've had Vans high tops that don't have the zipper. And it's so hard to get it on their foot. Um, but they have a zipper. And they also have a sole. Oh, I forgot to take that sticker off. They have a sole that is more like a boot sole. So there's more traction for them. So I absolutely love these. I wanted to tell you guys that we did get two pairs of those in. What do you want? Can I have candy? You just had candy. Um, uh, what? Uh, I'm a lolly. You just had a lolly. I'm a lolly. <laughs> You're silly. Um, okay, we are downstairs now. I just went ahead and took did. some footage of... Us in the camera so you guys can see the quality of it. Um, ben seems pretty fascinated with it. But I think it's going to be such a perfect fit for me to be able to watch what the boys are doing while they play down here. Um, I just need to figure out the whole wire situation. Baby, you need to stay away from the wire, please. I don't want you to get caught in it. Okay? I just need to figure out whether I'm going to mount it on the wall or do something with the wire so that they don't get caught in it. But so far, I am loving my new e-camera. I quickly wanted to insert some footage from the next day. This was when I was going ahead and cooking dinner and I was able to keep checking on them and making sure that they weren't getting into anything they weren't supposed to or hurting each other. And I was able to just keep an eye on them while also cooking dinner interrupted and also not interrupting their play. Okay, I just put the boys down for a nap. Excuse the lighting, it's pretty great today. I did turn on my little light in here, but it's making the lighting not the best. So please excuse that. But the boys are down for a nap and I wanted to share those quick few updates with you guys. So first five that I read really quickly, I think I mentioned it um, in my substance video, how I had to go and get a biopsy for some reason. I've been having some pain in this general area. It happened twice this month and last month for like a three day time span. And it didn't feel like a sore throat to where I was getting sick. It kind of felt like there was a golf ball blocking my throat when I was swallowing. So I had called my endocrinologist. She had told me if I felt any differences with it or any pain with it to, of course, let her know. When I went this past summer to get it checked on, I've been going every year. So I went last year and this year. It actually shrunk in size, which was good to hear. Um... So she wasn't concerned then. I got some blood drawn too. My levels are fine. So they never really felt the need to biopsy it. But because I've been feeling some pain with it, they wanted to just be safe and go ahead and biopsy. There's no pain in just seeing. Um, so I went ahead and did that. He ultrasounded, of course, before I went and got the biopsy. And it also shrank in size from July to now, which is good to hear as well. But the center of it is solidifying. If you guys remember what I talked about it the first time around, I said how there wasn't really any solid pieces inside of it for them to biopsy it. It looked almost like it was all fluid. Um, but the center of it did solidify quite a bit in the past like year and a half. So he was able to take a really good biopsy of it and it came back completely benign and nothing to worry about. So I just had to keep going for those yearly checkups just to make sure the size and the location of it, it's not moving, it's not growing or anything like that. Um, 
so that was good to hear. We don't really know why I'm having pain with it. I have to keep an eye on that as well. But he said it's not like pushing on my esophagus. So he doesn't know if it's correlated at all, the pain that I'm feeling and the thyroid cyst. But it's completely benign and I don't have to worry about it. So I wanted to give you guys an update on that. I had a few of you guys ask me since I posted over on my Instagram and in a vlog about me getting a biopsy. A lot of people were asking, um, you know, if I was okay. Completely okay with that. That was great news. Now moving on to kind of like the more exciting update for you guys. We've started to do a more, if you guys can hear them upstairs, Ben seems to be coming down with some kind of cough. It started a few days ago and yesterday it wasn't too bad, but today it's super dry and his teacher said he was coughing a lot as well. So that's Ben up there. But we started potty training again and I'm actually doing it way different than how I was trying to do it the first time around. If you guys are familiar, I started or tried to start to potty train back in August in between camp and school. We had like a three week time period. And so I really wanted to try and potty train the boys then. And I was doing the complete naked, no pants method, sitting on the potty every 15 minutes and just having them learn their cues that way. And Jack was picking up on it pretty well. Ben wasn't really using the potty, but he also wasn't making accidents. He wasn't going on the floor or anything. Jack was having accidents, but he was also using the potty. Unfortunately, they wound up getting really sick. Jack came down with, I think adenovirus was that point in time. Yeah, Ben had Coxsackie while they were still in camp. Then camp ended, started potty training, Jack got adenovirus. Um, so I stopped potty training and then school started and I didn't have a block of time where I could keep them home completely naked and potty train them. So I was just putting it on the back burner. And then randomly, while Harris was away two weekends ago, I sat them on the potty before they got in the bath. And Jack actually went. And then Harris came home the next day. I did it again. I sat them on the potty before they got in the bath. And again, Jack went. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to start sitting them on the potty. I do it when they wake up in the morning, when we get home from school, before they go down for a nap, after they wake up from their nap, and then before baths, and then again before bed. I just sit them on their potty and have them sit there for a few minutes and see if they have to go. And it's actually going really well. Jack goes almost every single time he sits down. Ben went twice. He lets a little bit out, but then I think he gets like too excited to finish going. So we're working on sitting there and having them completely go instead of going a little bit and then getting up. Um, and I think Jack is picking up on it really well. We actually got out of the bath the other day and we were in their room and I was picking out pajamas and he said, I don't want to go potty on the floor. And so we ran to the bathroom, sat him on the toilet and he was able to go. So he was able to connect that feeling of him having to go with realizing that he didn't want to go on the floor. He would rather go in his potty. And so he did. So we're on about, I would say a little over a week of us doing this and it's going really well. I think over Thanksgiving break, since Thanksgiving is that Thursday, they also have off on Friday and then we'll have off for Saturday and Sunday. I might take away diapers that weekend and see how it goes. But I figured either Thanksgiving break or Christmas break, they'll have a whole week and we'll be able to do that. At least they're familiar with the potty. They're getting familiar with the feeling. They're getting familiar with sitting on the potty and going. So when I do put them in underwear, because I do tell them, once you wear undies, you can't go potty in your undies. It's not like a diaper, you can't do that. When we start using undies, they'll already have that connection with the potty. So it's going really well. They turned three in January and I told them they don't make diapers once you turn three. You have to practice potty now and use undies when you turn three. So at least by January, I know for sure we'll be able to tackle this. But doing it in this more refined way um, where there's less like, what would I say? Less focus on it or it just being less intense, I think they're picking up on it really well. So that's a little update for you guys on how our potty training is going. Of course, I'll give you guys like a full update. I wanna do a full video on it once it's done and give you guys, you know, the differences between the two styles and how it goes once I actually put them in underwear. But I hear somebody. But I think it's going really well. So those are two quick updates. I have groceries getting delivered um, I just got a notification from Stop and Shop. I have groceries getting delivered very soon, so I need to put those away. And then I don't think we really have anything going on for the rest of the day. So I'll probably jump on in a little bit and then finish out the vlog. Okay, groceries just got delivered. I'm actually going to put away only the stuff that needs to be refrigerated or go in the freezer. The boys really like to help me put the groceries away. So when they get delivered and they're still down for a nap, I put aside all the like non-perishable items. 
um, so that when they get up, they can help me put those away. So I think there's like some things in this that need to go away. I think this bag, and then I think these three bags they can help me with when they wake up. What, we get? what are those? You're gonna help mommy put the groceries away? Yeah? <coughs> what do we got? Sauce. I'm just gonna make chicken parm this week. Sweet cheese, those are for school, baby. What else we got? Some rice. We're gonna have some salmon rice this week. Bread, thank you. Avocado. Yes, got fresh avocados. I think I'm going to end off the vlog here because we really don't have anything going on for the rest of the day. Um, we're just going to be waiting for Harris to get home and then, of course, to dinner and bedtime and all that kind of stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, hearing some of those updates I have, and, of course, seeing my review for the Nui 362 cam. I will have my link in the description box for you guys to shop and get money off of your Nui camera. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in our next video. Say bye, guys. Okay. Say peace. Peace. <laughs> Bye, guys.